In this lesson, I'm going to talk about column time. Whenever you analyze packet capture, the time column plays primary role. Since time is used to refer problem replicated time or time delay between packets, uh, if it is performance or latency related issue, time is crucial. So to understand time from packet capture, important for you to know what all are the options given by Wireshark itself, how this time is calculated, captured, processed, you should aware of. In this capture, I have taken with ping and ping response. You can see the time column is showing my local time on December 2023 around 22:53:25 second. So this is showing now in local time. I don't have issue. I am the one taken this capture. But what if someone else taken capture? You are going to just open the file and analyze. So you need a time reference when the problem happened. So if you and the problem uh, replicated time zone is within same time zone, we don't have any problem. But when you take packet capture from different time zone where you and the packet capture source is in different time zone, you should know what time zone exactly the capture was taken or you need to convert the time. So to solve this problem, Wireshark has you know inbuilt uh, capability uh, to read the time in uh, UTC format. So you can go to view option, then go to time and display format. In this uh, time display format, there are two sections. On top, you see all the time format. Then below, you see the microseconds and milliseconds. When you test software or when you uh, develop protocols, then you might require uh, more accurate uh, time differences. So then you can use uh, millisecond, microsecond capability. But uh, in general troubleshooting scenario, you stick to UTC time zone. For example, uh, user, the, the problematic user who taken the capture located in US, you are in India or other part of the world, then you should get the time reference in UTC. Then in the capture, you just select UTC uh, time of day, uh, you will see the time change into UTC format. So that would really help you to correlate uh, what end user replicated and what end user noticed during that particular time frame. you can get without confusing uh, about time zone conversion. So stick to UTC is the key when you work on global projects which spread across the globe. Then go to uh, time options, you know, here by default, uh, you know, you can use your local uh, time of day uh, using first three options. Uh, then you, if you like to go with the seconds, then you can use the first captured packet and the previous captured packet. Um, so I highly recommend um, you go with your, your local time first if the source is same time zone. If the source, the packet capture taken source is different, then stick to UTC and convert the problematic time from user to UTC, then analyze that particular timestamp. Hope this video is you know helpful for you to work with the time column. Uh, thank you for watching.